As usual, Byakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried up and out to the library to catch up. <laughs> well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to play Come on, you. enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he asked me to join him, he cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I've, uncover I've, 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 eh, I've uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is Makoto? Come on. This is way too easy. I have to go back to the girl. Well, thanks for telling me to give what the fuck. I, I should check the boys' locker room too? Any others might have come up with some info. Okay. Gather every info I can. Alright, where's the, uh, it's next to the pool, right? So it's somewhere around here-ish. There it is, okay. Alright, let's go to the girls' locker room to see, um, what Kyoko has been, uh, working on. And I guess the boys' locker room as well. I don't know how that pertains to the case, but, you know, want to be <laughs> more thorough. Ding, ding, ding! Fumi has discovered evidence for feeling the identity of the culprit! I feel as if... Holy shit, your voice actually became a lot more badass for a second. Ha <laughs> ha! Another stat increase for me! Uh, evidence? What do you find? I can reveal it! Uh, really? But I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's breath away from his... Lungs. His lungs. Are you sure about that? Oh yes, Miss Ludenberg said she witnessed something worthwhile too. She refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies to. Okay. What's less now? The warehouse by the dorm. She was there, but at the same time, not there. All right. So we ha we should have a word with Celeste once uh, we're done investigating. Kyoko, what do you got for us? Such a cheery song next to the death of a, a dead body. Bloodstained poster, the blood is the most noteworthy part, but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this, but hey, whatever. Oh, Kyoko, did you find something yet? Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Generally speaking. However, but I have to get going. I have something unrelated to the unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well, Nothing you need to worry about, just concentrate on the murder. So then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it, I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Alright, so whoever has her handbook... Has something to hide. Of sorts. Alright, Chihiro. Let's look at her lifeless body. Kyoko said she examined the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I don't I do have my limits. Well, I better give this a shot anyways, let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound up what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up into some kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug. Wait, so then, this isn't a rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Shahiro's fatal injury is the blow to the head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking... Through the genocide, f Ugh! genocide Jack Ross, something does not fit quite right. What does this all mean? All right, is that really it? Well, one thing most likely is tied all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend your hero. And to figure that out takes a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the genocide Jack case file one more time. All right. Hold on, I, oops. Where's the Genocide Jack record again? Alright, uh, the blah blah blah, profile, personality. 
So it's uh, some sort of... Okay, let me check the lamp again, actually. I feel like that might be some sort of suspicion. Alright. What about you two? What do you guys say? Jahiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No forgiveness! To target such a helpless being is unforgivable! What a wretched beast to do such a thing! I... I cannot forgive this. Dude had a real complex about beat. Okay, he's gonna see the same thing as we said before. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's leave the girls. And I guess we could check the boys' locker room because the game said so. Oh, whatever. I should also take a note that Celeste has something interesting to say as well. So I'll do that once we. Okay, what's in the boys' locker room, though? Is there any. There's some sort of stain here. Is that poop stain? <laughs> There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys' locker room carpet has been added to the... Okay. Is that it? Camera, door. Wait a f... That wasn't there before. Huh. This poster. It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it didn't quite fit to the theme of the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. The boys' locker room had the poster of a popular boy... In the boys' locker room, there's a po poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Could the poster have been switched? Well, if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should look at this... Maybe I should talk to someone about who knows... Okay. Should keep that of note. Right, so we have a boy band now instead of... Alright. Um, is anyone at the pool? I'm not sure if anyone's at the pool, so it's even bother worth checking it out. Uh, doesn't seem like anything's uh, of worth note. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, let's talk to uh, the other two as well to see if... So something about the poster switching. That seems confusing. Alright. Alrighty, Fumi. What do you got to say? Okay, so it's the same thing. And I'm going to think that the other two will say the same thing, so... I mean, it's not like I could present evidence, can I? So... I'm sure there must be more important left... Wait, okay. Maybe I do have to talk to, uh... The other two, actually. Well, let's figure this out. What did you think about the, uh... Posters? Still the same thing so far. God damn. course. Let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys and lock girls locker room... Uh, do you think the posters in the boys and girls locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to think... Uh, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. What, protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down with the glass and after exercise. Anyway, the other day, I sp spilled some of the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. Did the locker room somehow switch? Anyways, uh, the other day, I spilled some of the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. So what we are here right now is the boys' locker room? What the fuck?! But I don't see any stain on the carpet right now. Of course. Exactly. I know said earlier, the stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it, un isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain to begin with? Disappearing stain. Okay, we could connect the two dots. Maybe the locker rooms were switched? Thing is, how the fuck did it get switched? What the shit? Alright, this is really confusing. Alright. 
I guess that's that. The only thing left to do now is talk to Celeste about the, uh, whatever. Alright. We can also talk to the other people, just in case. Let's look at the- oop, wrong one. Let's look at the map. There's something in the- yeah, where there's something in the archive room. Right. We gotta investigate that damn lamp. Okay, where? Where? Blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Right here? Yeah, it's there. Okay. Alright, we'll talk to Celeste later. We have to really figure out what the fuck's going on in this room, specifically. Alright, um... Oh shit, the lamp here is connected. So it can't be that one. Huh, this lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see, it's not plugged in. The lamp... The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on. And it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right, Byakuya was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. That's the murder weapon, or that's the, uh, the, the, the bondage link, whatever the fuck it's called. I wonder if... Hey, desk lamp, uh, uh, library desk lamp has been added to the truth, blah blah blah. Okay, so that's that. Is there anything else? Oh, a bunch of books, that's what I'm sure. Let's check out the archive room and see if there's anything worth of note. Let me look at that lamp again. Yeah, this lamp doesn't seem like it has anything. So I'm really curious about that. Oh, not that! It's important presentation. If it means I become... I become a target. Nope, I'll... And yet, Byakuya is the one that saw it too. The desk lamp. Byakuya grabbed that one thing from the other here and put it over there. It sure is dark over there. There's nothing about the cords. I'm not seeing a cord yet, so... But the game doesn't seem to prompt have any, uh... Relation to the case, anyway, so... Hey, well, what about this thing? This wing was empty before. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was... Okay, the extension cord was here. Huh. Very interesting, Watson. Uh, maybe the archive? Really not much we could do here, is there? Aside from just looking at these? Dr. Mission Secret Council is revealing the truth of the combination of Donia. This wasn't the one that this was the one that had all of the genocide jack thing, right? If I want to take another thing to this, hmm. I know I would be around his stuff. Huh? It's gone! Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who would don't do something like that is I can't do anything but Byakuya. God damn it. So I can't even review the fucking case again. Do we have to talk to Byakuya about the fucking uh, okay, maybe I could talk to him about that as well. But for now, let's see what's in here. Apparently there's still something we could look upon in the library. Maybe there is something in the library I'm missing. A piles of fucking books. Okay, whatever. Uh, what about this letter? Can you even examine that? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, maybe this letter has No, not the- mm, Oops. This is something I hate about- this is definitely the one thing I really hate about playing on the PlayStation Vita using the Xbox One method is the fact that it definitely does have lag. Not a huge lag, I'd say there's like a... Maybe a quarter of a second lag, but still definitely a, uh, definitely a lag that could really fuck me over. According to this letter, hope to blah blah blah, and what more that even happened recently, apparently it closed down over a year ago. Mastermind probably took over the abandoned school in order to start the killing game why there aren't many other students here because it's not a real school. And that's... Is there a connection between that somehow? The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they want would want to imprison us all here, will be enough to get us out of here? Or... Or what? <laughs> I need answers, goddammit! Alright, whatever. There's this thing called the loan, but I'm not getting a prompt for that, so... There's a handless clock, but I can't apparently... Investigate that either. Alright, what about this desk thing? Is this any suspicion? There's a thick layer of dust on top of this desk. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. Alright, but there is money that I could spend on, I guess. What about whatever the hell these books are? Shelf back with books, but look at it. There might be some kind of clue here. Guess not. <laughs> Alright. Anything else over here? We got two more shelves to look at, so let's do that. Okay, no clues here. 
what am I missing? Because I definitely investigated everything I... Camera? The TV? I figure those things are just... Yeah, he's just repeating... Same shit. Oh, maybe the light up there. Oh, there's nothing up there, apparently. Or the... Okay, so yeah, looking up there, nothing. Did I miss something in the room? In the archive room? The camera? Why the fuck would... Did I even get to the camera? Oh, wow. I must have missed something here, have I? Maybe I'm actually done after all? Is the game streaming? I have no idea. This, if the exclamation mark's still there, then... I'm just gonna assume that there is still something I can do there. But... Maybe I have to do something later? And go back to here? Oh! The... Okay, so I'm guessing those are just important key parts of the uh, investigation. Never mind. Uh, we could also go here we want to. What the fuck is she doing here? Unless she's looking after Toko. Where's uh, Yakuya's room? Not like I could go in there. Either. Okay, let's go to the warehouse. Dude. Oh, no, I have fast travel there. Alright. Let's go to the warehouse to see what's up. Uh, which way's the warehouse again? Uh, how do I? What the fuck? How do I? Where am I exactly? Okay, so I'm here. Okay, I think I know where that warehouse is. Uh, is it somewhere here? Yeah, I've never actually been in this room before. Holy shit! All right. A lot of stuff here that I haven't even noticed. Alright, Celeste. Word, word on the street is you have something to tell me. <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything that one might need to live as a full life. From food to clothes to towel, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse... I thought, I thought talking about it, the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it as pointless. Then you did find something? <laughs> Very well, I will we'll tell you and only you. Actually. Last night I saw her. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Mm -hmm. It was right before nighttime. Alright. Mm -hmm. hmm? What are you doing out oh. this late? Oh, okay, so voice acting, okay. Oh, um I was just Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Okay. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bra in a hurry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. She stuffed the jacket into the bag, not the bra. Sorry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would ever have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to ex exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Okay. Unless there's something inside. I don't think this has anything to do. Any of this thing has to do with the. Uh... God, there is a lot of stuff here. Oh, you got anything inside, Jose? That's it, that's all. Okay. So yeah, it's just no, repeating the same thing. What? Because, oh, Basically. What? <sighs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so nothing worthwhile here. There's apparently something in the kitchen area, so let's look at that. I'm curious as to why uh I always in here instead of guarding Toko or whatever. 
Alright, uh, ice cream woman. <laughs> what do you gotta say? Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Mm. Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps mumbling about something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I left her there. Y you left her?! My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her too. Speaking of which, what are you eating? <gasps> A donut, of course! Of course? <sighs> There are two things I'm sure God created, outer space and donuts. Really? Mm. I bet you Hero would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Aww. Aww. I should have really spent more time with- Uh, don't remind me, I, I had a chance to meet up with her too. God damn it, I really wish I could have talked to her at least once. Uh, come to think about it, who did she spend time with? Well... Yeah, she did spend a- she was a little bit strange, didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even with- she said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally! Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us, either it was all- eh. It wasn't just us, it was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know, she talked about the boys she talked about the boys all the time. <laughs> Maybe she has some sort of crush or whatever, I don't know. It's kinda weird to be shy around your own sex, but it's totally fine for the opposite sex. Maybe she's just like that, who knows? Oh wait, maybe maybe she was uh, Ah, maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. I always account. That's an... Oh, fuck, I can't even look at my evidence. Oh, never mind, I can't. Okay. Alright, let me review what she said. Because that was a little bit... All right. Oh my god, we got a lot of fucking witnesses' testimonies. Alright, hold on. Chihiro seems to have consciously kept her distance from the other girls at the school, even from the beginning. Meanwhile, it had been noticed that she got along remarkably well, uh, well with her male student classmates. What the fuck does that have to do with this case? I s Okay. Maybe she switched the- maybe she's a lesbian and she switched the post- I don't fucking know. Huh. If so, then this is really um, abstract. So, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? All right, we'll be right back after the next episode of Honey <laughs> Honey Pop. Uh, whatever this game is called. Be right. Dang, I'm robot. Be right back.